Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and welcome to Machining Friday. If you want to cut something or engrave something on the CNC router, even a toy, absolute toy, hobby grade, a hobby grade 3018 Pro from China, you have to attach securely this thing into the work bed because if not, the forces from the spindle will just throw it away and instead of instead of cutting you will have things flying in your workshop and when i got my first 3018 i was surprised how limited the original setup with those four clamps is yeah if you really 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 want to you can attach something to the bed but it's rather designed for engraving not really for cutting and you definitely do not want your uh, end mill that can cost quite a lot to be honest to go into the aluminium and be broken immediately so what are the options for example a waste bed but we will not be talking about the waste bed today maybe rather a vice or even better a two-part vice that will basically allow you to install almost any size you want on the bed that fits the 3018 bed simple right how complicated a vice can be it turned out that uh, a search on the aliexpress or other chinese website for a relatively good vice that can be used on the 3018 and does not cost almost as much as the 3018 itself is rather a super hard endeavor because there is nothing and because there was nothing i decided well i have a 3d printer i'm cutting it and engraving only in wood so probably the plastic will survive the forces generated by the spindle on the wood and maybe i can just design something and print something and then use this very simple, almost crude, two-part device with my 3018. The design turned out to be relatively simple. First of all, it's the left jaw, or other, rather the stationary jaw that is attached firmly to the work bed with M5 screws and some uh, 20, no, 30 by 30 T-nuts to securely attach this into the aluminium work bed. Then it's the second block that you attach to the work bed, also mounted with the M5 screws and the 30 by 30 T-nuts and slots for 20 by 20 T-nuts that you use to apply a force on the soft, by soft I really do mean soft jaw that is just pushing the work that you are working on into the left uh, left jaw and besides that at least a few pseudo parallels yes those are pseudo parallels it's really hard to call them a real parallels but they really help you to position the work inside of the this two-part jaw to keep it at least uh, elevated a few millimeters above the work bed and uh, it turned out that well it works as long as you are working with relatively low speeds, I tested this, the feed rate up to uh, 1500 millimeters per second on the 6 millimeter plywood. Uh, it was working just fine, the workpiece was not moving and nothing was traveling like it should not be. The thing that was left was of course to print it and to test it. This is how my two-part 3D printed device for the 3018 Pro, and not only Pro, router looks like. The link to the STL files is in the description. You can download all the STLs printed and of course buy the nuts and bolts required to assemble this. But as the results, I have to say that I'm quite happy with the results. Maybe it's not perfect, maybe the moving jaw can be from time to time slightly elevate itself and really the cutting is not maybe 100% like you want it to be but for my grade of the required accuracy it's just fine it works just fine and if you tighten all the screws strong enough it really holds the plywood all the MDF boards on the router without absolutely any problem and because you can use those pseudo parallels i also designed you can elevate your work from the aluminium and cut and engrave using the same tool can we call it a success well to some extent definitely yes because it's cheap 
Uh, you can do it at home. You can. You only have to buy some of the M5 bolts and the T nuts for the for the assembly. But besides that, it's working just fine and holds wood, plywood, and MDF board on your router without absolutely any problem. However, um, I would be extremely afraid to run this thing with the high feed rates above 1,000. 500 millimeters per second or use it for anything harder than actually a wood aluminium nah, the 3018 really suffers when it has to work with the aluminium and also having a vice that's made from plastic probably is not the the right choice to, uh, to make um yes it may be deformed slightly when you really tighten all the bolts but like I said in the beginning, it holds the workspace quite nice and I think that's the most uh, important part. If I would have, if I would like to improve the design a little, most probably I would have to add some kind of the guides for the, for the moving job because it from time to time it elevates slightly while you are attaching your workpiece to the workbed and this can screw some things up but as long as you are ready to accept that this is not really for the precision work works absolutely just fine like i mentioned in the beginning all the stl files and other information is in the description of the video so if you want to have yourself uh, 3D printed, two-part vice for your El Chipo Chinese router, be my guest. That's all for today, until the next one, bye bye.